Now let's move along to our next guest. This man is back in civilization. He has been away for 13 weeks on a reality show, but he is back and ready to resume his fighting career. He is the game-bred fighter himself, the one and only Jorge Masvidal joins us right now. My man, how are you? What's up, my brother? How you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, bro, I'm back. I got a got a phone in my hand. I got a wallet in my pocket. It's madness. Explain to us, because, you know, uh, unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't watch a lot of Spanish TV. Where were you? What were you doing? I was in uh Dominican Republic in, uh, like... Like a survivor type ninja warrior show, you know, that I really didn't know so much about. Um, Abraham Cowell from First Round Management offered me the opportunity, and I was like, man, it's a reality. I, I think I'm straight because I've seen like real world and things like that, and I'm thinking it was like that. Yeah. So I was like, nah, I'm good, bro. But then he showed me like a couple clips, and I was like, nah, man, it's all athletic. You got to run through these like parkour courses, and then you got to like break down objects, you know, and they offered a nice little paycheck, um, win or lose, and I was like, can I go for like a couple, like one or two weeks, and then I'll wow. come back to reality, I ended up staying 13 weeks, man, and some craziness over there. Wow, and, and, and you can interact with your family during that time? Yeah, you can talk to nobody, like you're fighting for prizes, for, so like the basics of it is like, you're fighting for a house, and that house has uh, like running AC, running water, and better food and if not um if you lose you're at a worse house with like food and no running water and you sleep on the floor and like the rain hits you when it rains and it's always raining so like they make it real um drastic like that so you want to go out there and compete and stuff and it's like a team thing. so it's first to 10 points okay and is the show still going on like were you voted off yeah no i wasn't voted off you you get eliminated out so every sunday there was an elimination I made it to 13 of them, and um, wow. I got eliminated out. Yeah. Did you make money off of it? Like, the longer you stayed, you make more money? Of course, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> These standards don't come for free, Playboy. All right. I get money. Now, are you, like, a big star now? Like, like a bigger star than you were before you started the show? Uh, Yeah, I would say, like, in the Lion community, you're huge. Wow. It's nuts, you know? Yeah. The Lion community is pretty crazy. My, like, I used to walk down my city and, like, Older ladies or like, I don't know, young, young kids really wouldn't recognize me. Now, it's crazy. It's like the demographic that they were reaching. There's a lot of families and stuff, so it's pretty nuts. Okay, so you must be in sick shape right now, right? I mean, I'm in a general condition, like running, swimming, things like that. Yeah, I'm in good shape, but like fight white shape? No, I haven't done nothing specific like that. Okay. Everyone's gunning for you. Uh, I know Leon Edwards is trying to fight you. I know Gunnar Nelson is trying to fight you. Do you have a fight yet? No, I don't have a fight yet. I'm trying to get the right date, which is December 29th. Me and my management picked. And someone's going to get their heads split. I don't know who. Might even be at 55. You know, because I wasn't working out as much as I do back home. And you, they starve you over there. Like, they starve you for real, you know? Which was good for me because they would break the other guys. Me, I was just like, oh, fuck it. You know, I treated it like a training camp or something. And I was chilling. It was hurting, though. And I lost weight because I wasn't eating that much. And I'm not doing that much exercise. So I didn't have to put that amount of calories I do back home. So it was like a different way of losing weight, you know? Okay, but December 29th, that's when you're going to return? Yeah, December 29th, that's the day. <laughs> but we don't have an opponent yet. We don't have, you know, people ain't making that type of... Uh, commitment with their lifestyle they're just saying things but they're not really signing things you know okay now will you be fighting at 155 or 170 we don't know yet my brother we're going we're, we're, i'm trying to get the biggest name the biggest name happens to be at 55 i'm gonna make that push for it i'm gonna cut the weight and go for it if it's at 70 then at 70 we go do edwards and or gunner nelson interest you because they're those are the ones that i keep hearing want to fight you they don't because when I left, I don't know, they weren't top 10 when I left. I don't know, I've been gone 13 weeks. Maybe they knocked out somebody really important in the game, and, I, and it's like, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But if not, then I'm still like, that's not the toughest, biggest fight I could get out there. Mm -hmm. I've been away for a while. You know, it's no this to them, or whatever they've done in, in the sport, because I've seen them compete, and they're both good athletes. But I want the biggest fight I could possibly get, and if that's it, then that's the fight that should be made. If I get like a bigger, more risky fight, then that's what I'm going to go for. I noticed uh, last week 
there, there was some, you know, chatter from your end as far as trying to get Diaz to fight you. Did that ever go yeah, anywhere? Yeah, that's like a, no, it didn't go nowhere, but that's like a fight that excited me, you know? Uh -huh. Coming right back off the show, and then do that, you know? But you would have been okay to fight on such short notice after you just said you you weren't like technically in fight shape. Yeah, but see, that's that's a big risk to reward. Yeah. And uh, why not? You know, like I, I love those thrills of pushing myself. You know, it's like mediocre competition. You don't really don't really I don't know. It's not the same. Right. I want to go against the best, the baddest, the the very very best. Yes. And uh, that's what that's what gets the adrenaline pumping, the dopamine flowing. You know. Did you miss it? Did you miss training? Did you miss getting punched? Did you more, miss more than anything. I don't miss getting punched. It's not something I do. I'm good at doing, but I'm good at punching people in the face, and I miss that like crazy. <laughs> it's my favorite drug of choice. And I like that the hair is longer now. Are we going to keep that? I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. It's just, you know, I might get bored. I wake up and I cut it for right now. I'm just rocking it out because I don't got to get a haircut every week. If I got short hair, I got to be at the barber office. Yeah. So right now I'm just chilling with the castaway look. You know? I like it. I also, can you explain to me the genesis of the El Muerto? Because uh, I see this on your, your Instagram. You won one time in dramatic fashion and then you like kind of did this thing where you did like a timber and, and now it's become a yeah. thing. Like what is that? That's like uh, just a way of, you know, swagging out on them. Score the point, bam, hit him with the dead, with the zombie, dead. <laughs> so I left everybody watching, dead. So is that your new thing, or have you been doing that for a while? I, I've done a combination of, of things like that throughout the sport. This one was a little bit more evolved, and I made it just for x loan. I might bring it onto the fight world. A lot of people are asking for it, you know? Yeah. They want to see it in the cage. I like it. I think you beat someone, you knock them out, you submit them, then you hit them with the dead, dead muerto. With the death, I like it. It's El Muerto, it. right? El Muerto, exactly. Yeah. And and I saw also on your Instagram, you were on a show and your kids came out. Was that the first time you saw them? And like, Or had you that seen That was, uh, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to say certain things, but I got to see him right before. Oh, uh, like okay. The night before. But, yeah, I was pretty nuts, you know what I'm saying? I hadn't really seen him too much. There it is, yeah. And that must have been really emotional seeing your kids after all that time. Bro, it was, it was madness, man. You got the beard, too. Say it again? You got the beard going you also? Up? You're you're looking great. Yeah, I got the beard. Yeah, they don't let you shave over there, really. They'll give you, like, a razor, and shit, but they won't give you, like, a machine. And my shit was too long for a razor. And then when I started looking all cast away, they're like, man, we can't even give you razors no more. <laughs> like, fuck, man. What did you miss most? Fuck it, what could I do? My kids? Is the number one thing that I miss. Just being with them, hanging out with them, seeing them smile, doing all types of pranks and jokes, and then fighting after that. Just going to the gym, just waking up, going to the gym a good two, three hours, releasing all the anxiety and demons that I got inside of me, and doing that again at night. That's like my combo right there, you know? You don't have a wallet, you don't have a phone, so you miss everything pretty much. Like, Nutella, I would, I would, I became like a professional thief in the show, because they, they have like, crazy amount of f***ing searches, random raids. You'll be playing at the games and they'll go through your bus and they find paper and pen and they'll take it. Oh, contraband. Boom, <laughs> snatch that up. Crazy <laughs> like that, like like a jail, you know? Yeah. So it was like, it makes it f***s your mind because you want something, you can't get it. So then I started stealing shit everywhere I would go because people ain't feeding us. It's crazy, bro. Damn. All right. Well, you're back. Yeah. You, you killed it. You're looking to come back December 29th, and you're 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 hoping for the biggest fight. You're open to 155, 170. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I couldn't have said it better. All right. I'm just gonna get hurt, Ariel. I'm. Fucking, I've been missing this. Well, I don't know who it's gonna be yet. I'm gonna go and get their melon pop. Welcome back. Looking forward to it. Congrats on yeah, on on, uh, on on the show and how well you did. Very happy for you. Oh, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. I survived uh, 13 eliminations, man. Kicking ass. That's incredible. All right, Jorge, we'll talk to you soon. All the best to you. All right, my boy. All right, there he is, the one and only gamebred fighter himself, Jorge Masvidal, stopping by. Killing it on that show with the El Muerto. He hits you with the El Muerto, the one-two punch, bang. And uh, then he does the old timber thing. Good stuff. Looking forward to uh, his return. Always exciting at 170 or 155.